been a while, almost a year. A lot has happened in that year. Let me give you the quick 30 second highlight reel. I got laid off from my job. I took up golf. I rolled out of a golf cart and separated my shoulder, which meant no guitar playing or anything like that for a while. I got my studio set up finally. My wife got a new job. We moved from Michigan to Boston, so I had to take my studio entirely down. And now I'm here in Boston in an attic with everything all a mess again. But that's okay because at least I'm here. At least you're here. And thank you so much for watching Dad Time Jam Time. I'm Alec. And uh, today I've got a really fun one. About like three in the morning, I got an email asking me if I wanted to check out a guitar wireless system. I always said, yeah, why not? And I don't know if you've seen this video or not, but my go-to living room setup is this positive grid spark and the x vive wireless system i have it ready to go in the living room pretty much all the time i love jamming on it sunday night drinking a whiskey learning a jazz standard you know whatever it might be uh it's an awesome living room setup to have a wireless guitar that works out great so today what i'm going to do is i'm going to unbox the x2 guitar wireless system we'll talk about the specifications and compare it to the x vive then we're gonna do a quick demo and hear it through the positive grid just kind of see how it sounds for i think a fifth of the price and if I might recommend it to just help get that 15 minutes a day in. I know it's always hard to find that time to just pick up the guitar and anytime there's extra friction, like getting a cable out, getting a pedal board out, getting everything plugged in, I know that I'll sit and look at Instagram. I like to design my environment so that it's super easy to get playing in like less than 15 seconds. The wireless systems are great for that. I, uh, I'm super pumped about this. <laughs> All right, here it is. The X-Tuga JTS Y23 wireless guitar system tailoring for musical instruments. UHF signal, hi-fi quality, 50 meter distance. Take a look what's inside. You get a manual and some nice foam. You get the uh, transmitters recessed there. Oh, and down here by the foam, I almost missed it. A little black cardboard sleeve. There are two micro USB cables that it came with for charging. They have a good weight to them. They're a little bit bigger, so you can kind of see the X2 uh, is a little bit bigger than the X5 U2 transmitter here. Both of these have a micro USB charging port. I definitely would love a USB-C port on things like this. You get a transmitter and a receiver in the box, which would be to be expected. And then on the item itself, you have a button that turns it on and a button that turns it on. And there you go, the two lit x Tuga guitar wireless systems. There's a power light here, but also a battery indicator light. Just some specs. So latency or delay, uh, this says less than two milliseconds. X5 says less than five milliseconds. I've never noticed latency with the X5. The feel is great, especially for like I was saying, just noodling on the couch. Range is 70 feet with line of sight. This says more like, 30 to 50 meters, so that, what, 70 feet is like 20 meters, so it maybe has a little bit longer range. This says it's UHF, the X Vive is ISM Worldwide Open Band. Total distortion on the X Vive is 0.2%. On this, it says it's 0.05% or less. Signal to noise ratio is greater than 85 dB. Here it says signal to noise is 103 dB. Frequency response on both is 20 to 20,000 uh, kilohertz. This is approximately a six hour battery CD X Vive. It says approximately five hours. Price on the X Tuga is $38.99 on Amazon right now. And if you use the link in my bio, I think you can save 5%. So definitely go through and do that. That would be awesome because I think it helps me out. I don't get like a commission or an affiliate kickback or anything from it, but it'd be cool for them to know that you found the system from me. So hopefully 5% is worth it for you. $38.99, that's like, you're like 35 bucks and you have a wireless system to try out in your living room. There are some cheaper ones, I think on Amazon. Uh, the X Vive, which again, was sold at Guitar Center. So in my mind, that was one of the more expensive ones than what's on Amazon. X Vive is $154.90 still. So it's uh it's almost a fifth of the price it'll be really interesting to kind of do a audio comparison and demo let's take a listen we're going to hear the x tugas the x vibes and then also an instrument cable i've got my spark here it's got the same settings that i use it on all the time i'm going to just swap out plug each thing in play a little riff and then we can listen back and see if there's actually any real big change let's get to it <laughs>
like listening back, a couple surprises and a couple not surprises. I know that these dongles sort of have a reputation for cutting off the high end making the signal feel a little bit muddy. I think the X2 is definitely in that camp compared to the instrument cable, especially up the neck a little bit and those higher notes, it almost sounded like my tone knob was rolled off. On the other hand, I was really surprised with the X5, how hi-fi it sounded, how much high-end articulation there was. It really didn't sound much different from the instrument cable to my ear. But I mean, that's basically $150 for a living room convenience. Definitely enticing to try to get that same convenience for less than 50 bucks. So really my last question is, can I EQ the Spark enough to bring back some of that high end to make it passable for the price, especially for just living room jamming? Let's give that a shot. I'm gonna test it out now. So I've got the high end on the Spark dialed up all the way. I've got the mids just below noon and the bass rolled off all the way. I've got the tone knob all the way up on the guitar. Got the volume knob all the way up. Let's listen to each position and see what you think. <laughs> all right, so here's the first position. Second. Yeah, so that definitely sounded better to my ear. There's a lot more high-end articulation there. It definitely sounded passable. If you got an amp that's as flexible as the Spark, I think you could probably use the Xtuga in the living room setup, which begs the question, who's the Xtuga for? It's definitely not a professional level device. So this is something for at-home convenience. And for a fifth of the cost of what you can buy the X5 for, I would recommend checking it out. It's a good way to see, does it actually get you playing more? And if it does, and it's worth it for you to keep playing more, then upgrade to the X Vive when you got the money. Ultimately, at the price point, it's really nice to have something like this. Also, I should say that the X2 company sounded like they were really cool people. The founder named the company after his college band and his college friends. It seems like they're interested in trying to make good quality for affordability. There's always a trade off there. But if the budget is a concern, I think it's definitely worth checking out. Anything that gets you playing a little bit more. So, yeah. Thanks so much for watching. Like, subscribe if you found it helpful. Tell your friends. I'm going to try to get back in to make some more consistent content. Now that I'm getting settled again, it's definitely a priority. So thanks so much for watching. I've got some cool stuff planned. Cheers.